Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wase here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can transfer movies from your laptop PC to your iPhone as you can see right here. So let's begin the video. So you would be thinking that why you want to transfer movies to your iPhone when you have Netflix or other subscriptions while well, you're alright. But if you're in a place where you have no internet connection and if you want to pass your time then the best way is that you have some kind of entertainment inside your iPhone that doesn't require internet. So if you transfer movies from your laptop to your iPhone then you can watch these movies uh, when you don't have any internet and it is a good time passer as well. So for this all you need is your iPhone and your laptop or PC. I'm using a Windows PC. The process is almost same for Mac users as well. And the last thing is a lightning cable to connect your laptop and your iPhone. So we're going to need two softwares, one app for the iPhone which is free and the other app is iTunes for our laptop which is also free. So let's begin. Here is my iPhone on which I want to transfer movies from my laptop. So in order to transfer movies you're going to need some kind of app. Uh, we're going to download a free app so all you need to do is to open the app store and search for Adobe Acrobat. So basically Adobe Acrobat is as you can tell a PDF reader but we can use it for transferring movies as well. I will tell you later how you can do it but for now just keep up with me and download and install this free app on your iPhone. So here is the one Adobe Acrobat reader uh, just press on download. So I will put this app download link in the video description just below the like button. So we're just going to wait until the download is completed. The app has been downloaded. All you need to do is to just open the app once. And you can see the app has been opened. You have to do nothing. If you want to sign in, you can do so. So the reason why we downloaded Adobe Acrobat is that it's going to make a folder on the iPhone files manager. So we're going to use that folder as a way to transfer movies from our PC to our iPhone. So that's the reason why we downloaded this app. So if I go and open files, then go to locations. Here you can see we're going to press on, on my iPhone. And now you can see we have a folder named Acrobat and it's going to have just a single file. But the main thing is that now we got this Acrobat folder made it. So our uh, PC can read this folder and we can copy movies and send it to this folder from where we can watch movies on our iPhone. So that's the reason why we needed this app. Now let's move towards our PC or laptop. So here I am on my Windows laptop. The process will be somewhat same for Mac users as well. On Windows, you're going to need a software called iTunes provided by Apple. For the Mac users, I think it is pre-installed. Anyways, you need to open your browser and you need to search iTunes download. The first website will be from support.apple.com. We're going to open this website. I will also put this website link in the video description as well. So here you can see if you can access the Microsoft Store, uh, the main thing is that download iTunes for Windows 64 bit. If you have a 64 bit operating system of Windows 10 or a 32 bit, if you don't know, you can open File Manager, go to this PC, right click on this PC and go to Properties. From here, you can see it's going to show it right here on System Type 64 bit operating system, as you can see. So, we need to download iTunes with the 64 bit version. So we are going to press on Windows 10 64 bit. If you have a 32 bit Windows, you can download it for 32 bit as well. So here you can see the download has been started. It's a 190 MB file. So it is going to take some time depending on your internet speed. So we are just going to wait until the download is completed. Uh, the download has been completed. Here is the setup file. All you need to do is to right click on it and run it as an administrator. Okay, Windows installer press on next add itunes shortcut to my desktop automatically update itunes i'm just going to uncheck this the default location you can change it if you want to and we're going to press on install so it's going to install fairly quickly okay we're going to press on finish and it's going to open itunes uh, agree to the terms and conditions after reading them here it is a new version of iTunes is available. We're just going to close it or don't download as it is not necessary. So now we are going to connect our iPhone to our 
PC using the lightning cable and here you can see a new iPhone is a uh, version is available so we're going to uh, close this one because we don't want to download any iOS software we're going to press on agree from here and here on the top side it's going to show a little phone icon as well if you press on it it's going to show your phone in some cases it's might going to ask to enter your passcode on your iPhone so just enter the passcode of your iPhone and press on the trust button on your iPhone screen on the left side you can see it says file sharing if I press on file sharing you can see the first folder is the acrobat folder again the reason why we installed acrobat is that we can use its file folder to transfer movies and here is the empty space now in order to transfer movies there are just two conditions that you need to make sure of first of all your iphone has enough storage according to the movie size currently this movie is around 844 mb and the second thing is that the movie that you want to copy should be in a mp4 or mov format so i'm going to copy this movie lego star wars terrifying tale it's a good movie i would say so here you can see and if i right click on it and go to properties you can see on type of file it is a dot mp4 file so it means that the iphone can play it in order to copy movies it's pretty simple uh, here on the itunes let me just put it on the side make sure that acrobat folder is selected and drag and drop whichever movie you want to copy to your iphone you're going to get this little link button as well just drag it and drop it over here and here you can see on the top copying files to iphone 12 pro if you are not able to drag and drop files here you're getting some kind of you know restriction on it just make sure that your iphone is unlocked and if it is still not working just restart your laptop or pc and it should work properly all right if it isn't copying files so you can see that the movie has been copied successfully to our iphone let me show it to you on my iphone as well here again i am on my iphone i'm going to open the files folder go to locations uh, on my iphone and then the acrobat folder and here you can see the movie has been copied and here if i play the movie i'm just going to you know reduce the sound you can see i can play the movie pretty all right here as you can see so yeah guys in this way you can copy movies to your iphone from your pc if you guys like this video like share subscribe and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so if you're interested in other iphone tricks like these the videos are present on my channel other than that guys thank you for watching and stay safe